Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today we're going to talk about how to set up your notebook. So first of all, what type of notebook should you have? A very large notebook. This is 200 sheet, five subject notebook. It is college ruled. Um, if you get that, you're, you're in business. All right, so starting with page one and the packet. Um, this first page here, chemistry supplies for success. We already talked about that. Go ahead and take this off. Hopefully you already bought your supplies. And then we've got the out of class passes. I'm gonna take this one off for now and we'll put it back. We'll decide where it goes later. Okay, so now we have honors chemistry grade tracker. This is gonna go, unfortunately, these all have page numbers on it, except for this one. It came out all funky. So this is goes on page 1A, which is this page right here, 1A. All right, we're gonna glue this on page 1A. Um, I unfortunately forgot to bring glue home, so I'm gonna use tape. I highly suggest you do not use tape, but use glue instead. And then up above, you're gonna write your name, your period, and if found, return to room 33. Okay. Um, now, this is your honors chemistry grade tracker. We'll talk about how to use this later, but what I want you to do now, um, the, the left side here is your exam grades, which you'll be keeping track of, and the right side is your class grade. I would like you to sit and think for a minute, what grade do, are you planning on getting in the class? Not, not what grade are you dreaming of, but what grade are you actually willing to work for? And then I want you to take a highlighter and highlight across that grade. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot for a 95%. Okay. So that's page 1A. If we turn the page, this is going to be page 1B. And if you go back to our packet, you will note that there is no page 1B. It goes to page 2A next. So the next page is page 2A. And this is your chemistry grade, how you control it. So I will remove this sheet and I'm gonna glue it in. And you'll note that it's two-sided, so you need to really think about how you're gonna glue it in. Um, you will note that the way I set my things up, if you glue at the top or the bottom, when you flip up, it'll be right side up both ways. So you pick which way you would like to glue it. I am going to tape it like that. So now your chemistry grade and how to control it, page 2A, and there's the back. Okay, so the next page is page 2B, which is going to be on the back of page 2A. So let's remove this sheet. And again, this one's two-sided. And this one, since there's so much blank at the bottom, I would put the glue here and be able to flip down. And we have chemistry lectures on the front of page 2B and on the back we have how to grade assignments. Our next sheet goes on page 3A which is common laboratory equipment. You will note that it is only one-sided so we can glue this all the way down on page 3A. And safety rules, page 3B, which is going to be on the back of page 3A. 
this one. And you'll note that this one is two-sided. It looks like there's a lot of room for glue on the back, so I would glue it back. There we go. So when we flip, it's once it's up right side up both ways. And we're almost done here. We've got page 4A left and 4B. So I'm going to stop with the taping. I think you guys kind of get the hand, the the idea of this. So this is going to be page 4A with the laboratory safety contract, which is one-sided. And this one is page 4B, also one-sided. Back to the beginning really quickly. I told you we'll talk about this after our first exam. Um, I am not going to read all of this to you. Um, I highly suggest you, this is really important, this is your chemistry grade and how you are going to control your grade. You should read all of this and understand it, both front and back, maybe even take some notes, ask questions. I will go over parts of this in class. Okay. Chemistry lectures. How to effectively watch your watch the lectures and what you should do, how you should take good notes. Read over that stuff. Again, it's your grade, it's your education. And on the back of this, how to grade assignments. And we'll be talking about that in class, uh, but read through it. You need to be familiar with all this equipment. I'm not going to give you an actual quiz on this. However, um, when we go to a lab, I'm going to expect you to know that this is a graduated cylinder. This is a burette and a beaker, Erlenmeyer flask, etc. So make sure you're familiar with this equipment. And the safety rules. You need to know these safety rules. We're going to have a quiz. You need to get 100% to be able to do any labs. And if you mess up, if you do not follow the safety rules, you will not be doing labs. Okay, and then we have coming up to assignments. Laboratory safety contract. I need you and your parent or guardian to read this and sign understand it before you sign and make sure you get your chemistry notebook signatures when you sign it you are saying you and your parent or guardian are saying I have read and understand the information on pages one through four of the notebook okay all of this stuff okay and we'll talk about each piece of this as we go through the semester right. grab your scientific numbers and calculations um, packet and we'll start gluing some of this stuff in um, I highly suggest you do not take this packet apart, just use the pay, you know, keep the pack all together and take off a piece at a time. Okay, so the table of contents here says page zero is the scientific numbers and calculations table of contents and quiz tracker, which is this table of contents uh, and this. So I'm going to take both of those off. And you will note that the table of contents is two-sided, so you need to think about how you're going to glue it in. The grade tracker or quiz grade tracker is just one-sided. So I'm going to glue this all the way down, tape it, sorry. And this one, I'm going to think about the way I'd like to use it best, and I, I think I'd prefer it to flip down to make it easier for me, for myself. You can decide. And again, use glue, not tape. It really does work better. Okay, and so now I have my table of contents flipping up and down. The table of contents will tell you what needs to go on each page. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, switch to an, a last year student notebook to show you some of the other things. Um, just really quickly, let's look at a notebook from last year. So we start with the table of contents and what you're going to see is that all of the page numbers from the table of contents match her information. We're not talking about the same unit you're getting ready to do, but you'll get the same idea. Okay, so the first thing you see is that she has an assignment about reading questions. You'll note that she um, glued on the questions in such a way that you can see the front and the back and has all the answers. We have a set of lecture notes. You'll notice that she underlined important concepts, she wrote questions, more questions, 
Um, here we've got an we've got a lecture, another lecture, which goes on page twenty six. This particular one. The back is also page twenty six. A new assignment starts on page twenty seven. She's glued it in in such a way that it's right side up both ways. Okay, and this one had a second page to it. Another lecture starting on page 28. It continuing, the back is still page 28. The lecture or the lab goes on page 29. And again, you'll notice how she glued it. And 29, again for the lab. And she needed another page, which was fine. She also called that page 29. She can use as many pages as she wants for the same assignment. But this side stays blank because she's done with page 29. To move on to page 30, it needs to be on a front page on the right-hand side. Okay, we see this again here. We've got another kind of long lecture. She's got information here, arrows, drawings, questions. And this is page 30, page 30 on the back. She needed more space, so she went to another page 30. Okay. The back is blank because she didn't need another page 30. Page 31, again, starts on the front. You'll also notice that um, besides having the assignment and the answers, she also glued in the quiz that goes with this assignment. Okay. So that's what your note should, notebook should look like. You will note that this is neat and organized. It's useful. She was able to study from it. Um, Take your notebook seriously. It's not just a thing to turn in. It is your learning of chemistry right here. Everything you need to know will be in these pages. Okay, that's it.